Hello and welcome back to Think Code and More. So today what I'm going to be doing is another Xcode video. So in today's video, what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to add gradient colors inside your own Xcode project. So let's get into it. starting off let's create a new Xcode project a single view application would be good click next product name let's call this YouTube gradient click next and then save it wherever you would like to save it and then click create Now it will load in and now what you are going to do is create a new file. Now let's create a Swift file. Let's call it gradients. And now it will create this. And now for a second thing that I'm going to show you guys, let's make another Swift file and let's call it colors. Now first, before we get onto the gradients, I'll show you this colors. So what you want to do is make sure you're importing the module UI kit and then set a structure. Let's name this colors and now let's make a variable so static let and let's call this just C green. Now we're going to want to go to our UI color and then set this up with each and every color. Alpha we can automatically set to just 1.0, but a green for C green, here's what the colors would be. So here's the color or an approximate of the color, I would think. And now here's our own color. And we don't have to go through what they have. If you were to look UI color dot gray, green, dark gray, light gray, they have their own set. But here you can make your own UI color. Now, let's go to gradients.swift. Let's once again import the module of UI kit and let's make a because this will be an extension to a UI view. So now what we want to do is create a public function. Let's do set to gradient and the reason I'm calling it this is because we are going to set two colors in this gradient so inside its parameters color one UI color and color two which is also UI color now let's write this let gradient layer equal a CA gradient layer. Now let's do let our variable that we just created gradient layer 
dot frame is equal to bounds. Let gradient layer dot color equal dot colors equal brackets color one dot c cg color and color two dot cg color and what I accidentally did is put let on these two lines. You do not want to do that. Now there should be no errors. Now let's put our locations. I also put in the description the documentation of the gradient layer. So now let's do gradient layer dot locations equals Let's just do zero and one. Now gradient layer dot start point is equal to X, which is going to be let's just say zero and then Y zero and our second gradient layer or not second but end point gradient layer dot end point is equal to let's just copy this in and replace these with 1.0 now in the end to make this all work you have to put in this line and also just before these you have to put CG point and CG point. Now it will not show you that error. So now what we've set is a public function that we can use anywhere and it's an extension for only any UI view. Now that we've done that let's save both of these files and let's go to our view controller or main storyboard view controller. So while this is loading in, you want to add a view controller and it should come up soon. So now that we have our view controller here, it actually is always there. Let's just like Add a view on top of this and just a normal view. And once we've dragged it on top, this is where we can make a gradient view inside the bigger view. But I'll show it to you guys in two different ways. So here we have two views here, right? Here's our big view that automatically is linked and you cannot take out its outlet right here. So now let's open up our view controller dot swift now let's make some outlets so here we have our second view let's call this second view and we're just making an outlet now we could do view or let's do second view first second view dot set to gradient color as you can see it came up 
let's do color one sea green that we created but we also have to do colors dot because it's part of that structure and then color two let's just do UI color dot red and this is a color they have in their own system now we've set this guy's gradient now what we want to do is run this project and then let's look inside and see what shows as you can see our simulator is open now we can run it and it has automatically been installed because it's a very 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 small project now it's right now showing the launch screen and then it's gonna go right into the main storyboard as you guys can see this is our small gradient view showing right in now let's add our second view or our first main view that is already inside the view controller so view dot set to gradient and let's make this a blue or UI color dot blue and a color two could be our colors dot C green but now before I run this what I'm gonna do is do a comma space color three colors or UI color dot let's do red again right here so now it's going to show an error here that there's no parameter extra argument but now let's go to gradients here and let's just close out this and this let's copy this and paste and now let's call this set 3 gradient and let's add that color three so now that we have everything here let's add a third point point five and now the start point and end point could stay the same now let's use this function and what this function is doing is letting us allow three different gradient colors and you can keep on adding and adding these parameters and the points and it will continue and continue on so going back to the view controller let's highlight this and command V now let's run this so now that we've run it, we also just need to make sure we don't make this mistake where we also have to add in our colors the third color. Now that we've run it, this is what it looks like. You have three colors, which looks pretty nice. And this is how you make gradients in Swift Xcode. So let's get on to the outro. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos about iOS development and a lot more on this channel. So, I guess, bye.